Tracy Matisak, and this is your world. You can add one more thing to your list of endangered species. It is the giant cactus called Zawaro near Tucson, Arizona. The cactus were once so thick they were called a forest. That was 60 years ago. 30 years ago, the Zawaros were beginning to die, and scientists knew they had a problem. Trouble is, the scientists could not agree on what it is. Some think it is air pollution. Some think it is the thinning ozone layer around the Earth. Others think it's just natural. You can see yeah. the pack rat damage down here. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a constriction here due to freezing. And then another constriction here due to freezing. In any case, we are losing our most recognizable symbol of the Southwest, and nobody seems to know why. I'm Tracy Matisak, and this is your world. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, I'm Rich Maneri, and this is your world. Tracy has the day off. There's a man in Georgia who makes wooden puzzles that will make you crazy. As you can see, this fellow has his hands full trying to figure out how it goes together. I, I just can't figure it out. Walter Zeller has been making these puzzles ever since he was a boy, but that doesn't make them any easier. It slides off every day. It slides off every day, too. Mr. Zeller spends hours making the puzzles, but for him, watching children solve them is the best part. I'd like to see the children mess with them. Try their ideas, what'll work and what won't work. And... These puzzles must be really old because Mr. Zeller learned to make them from his grandfather. I'm Rich Maneri, and this is your world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here again next time. I'm Tracy Matisak, and this is your world. The after effects of Hurricane Andrew are still with us. Thousands of people in Florida are still trying to put their lives back together. In southwest Louisiana, it's a different problem. Estimates are that millions of fish died when the hurricane stirred up the lakes and bayous, leaving the fish without oxygen. Fishermen are trying to replace the lost fish by donating fish they catch in other parts of the state. These fish are put in the water where they can breed. The sheer numbers involved, if we get as many fish released into the spillway as we hope to get, and if we see the survival rate, which we are told that we can anticipate, we should see the equivalent of several million fingerlings released into the spillway by placing these few thousand broodstock fish. Yemen and others think they can do in two years what it would take nature five or six years to do. I'm Tracy Matisak, and this is your world. Hello, I'm Rich Maneri, and this is your world. Tracy has the day off. As you know, pets are good for people who are handicapped or who have medical problems. In Atlanta, Georgia, there is a group of pet owners who take their animals to visit nursing homes. Some of the pets just sit patiently while they are being petted and held. Others like to perform tricks. Jump! Good girl! And some pets are just born show-offs. There's even a place for a cuddly bunny rabbit among these pet volunteers called Happy Tails. I think that she loves people as much as I do, and she uh, really enjoys coming. She gets excited. She knows when I pick up the bandana and put it on her neck, we're going out to Happy Tails. But it's not all fun and games. Some of these animals actually help with the patient's therapy sessions. I'm Rich Maneri, and this is your world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again here next time. Tracy Matisak, and this is your world. You might find pictures of starving children in Somalia upsetting or confusing or just plain scary. Young students at Hunter School in New York City had all of those reactions and more. It was kind of weird because I, I couldn't believe that was the actual world. I'm just thinking about what if I was one of them, how I would feel. I, I was holding back tears, and it's hard to do that. Experts say there are some things you can do in order to deal with the shocking conditions in Somalia. One, talk about it with your parents. They can explain the situation, and understanding it is very important. Two, ask your teacher to organize group discussions at school. Knowing how other people your age feel will help you deal with your own thoughts and emotions. I'm Tracy Matisak, and this is your world.
Tracy Matasek, and this is your world. Today we're going to introduce you to Russia's top expert on bears. He lives among the bears in a remote section of Russia, and he studies them year-round, but not as easily as he might. I guess the, the main difference in my work compared with work of my Canadian and American colleagues, it's a, a less of equipment. Despite his lack of expensive tracking equipment, Hap knows that the Russian brown bear is threatened. Last year, 1,000 bears were killed legally by hunters who had been given permits, but another 5,000 were killed illegally. Most of those were killed because bears are an easy source of money when there is not much money around. Certainly true in Russia today, where a poor economy is threatening the existence of Russia's symbol. I'm Tracy Matisak, and this is your world.